You know, I have one secret that I am gonna share with you about fluoride. This one secret is something that I wish that I had known when I was in dental school. I wish that I had known this in my early years of practice. I wish that all of my patients knew this and now I want you to know it. Why? Because there's a fluoride wars going on. Fluoride wars have been going on for as long as I've been a dentist. There are those that say that it is great for your teeth and it's exactly what you need to be able to have stronger teeth. And there's others that say it's terrible for your body. It's not worth what it will do to your teeth to sacrifice what it will do to your body. So where's the truth in all of this? In the fluoride wars, where does the truth land? Honestly, it's right in the middle. Here's the secret that I want you to know about fluoride. You actually don't need it. So the idea of strengthening a tooth is a great idea, and fluoride does do it. Fluoride actually makes the tooth structure harder and more brittle. That's great. In fact, they found this because people were drinking water from wells that had more fluoride in it, and they found that they were more cavity resistant. This is a great concept. The problem is, is that harder and more brittle also happens to affect the bones. The same minerals that make up our teeth make up our bones. Do you really want more brittle bones? Research shows that there are more rates of fractures in areas that have high fluoride levels. Do you want that? I don't want that, and I don't want my patients to have that as well. The other issue is that fluoride is a big problem for thyroid function. How many people do you know today that actually have low thyroid function? They're saying that they're tired and they're fatigued and they go to the doctor and they say, I just know that my thyroid must be off. Test me and let's see what we find. The tests come back and they say, you're just fine. Your thyroid levels are normal, but you don't feel normal. You don't feel good. You don't have the energy that you once did. So you know something's off. Well, most likely it's related to fluoride because fluoride interferes with the way that thyroid hormone is activated. So if fluoride is actually activating that hormone, it will show on a test as normal, but in reality, it's not doing the things that it should be doing in your system. So you have the fatigue, but not the validation of, yes, I have thyroid problems. So fluoride is a big problem for thyroid health. It's also a problem in the brain, especially of developing kiddos. Well, I have children. The last thing I want to do is to affect the way that their brains develop. Research is showing that it even literally reduces IQ in kids. This is research proven. This isn't just me telling you stories here. So is it worth it? No, because we don't need it. Teeth are not made of fluoride and a cavity is not a deficiency of fluoride. We don't need it. All we need is what the tooth is missing, which is the mineral that a tooth is made of. It's called hydroxyapatite, and you may have heard a lot of hubbub about it lately. Well, there's a lot of good information and maybe some not so good information out there. The key things you need to know is it needs to be the right size, the size to get into the tooth, but not into the brain. It needs to be in the right carrier. So we want it to get on the tooth, but not cause other issues with other ingredients in the product. So what do I recommend? I 100% recommend a tooth powder. I couldn't find one that I loved that didn't have ingredients that I wasn't comfortable with. So I created products that are going to be able to take care of every single mouth care need you have. I have a powder that is for remineralizing teeth. What does that mean? Basically a cavity forms when minerals are pulled from the tooth. So you're going to put minerals back. This is going to prevent decay as well as heal small cavities. I have a powder that's going to help with whitening. Whitening is usually just because the tooth structure itself is getting too thin and you're seeing the yellow layer through. This is gonna rebuild the tooth. I have a formula for sensitivity. So if sensitivity is something you struggle with, this will plug up all of the tubes that go directly to the nerve and that sensitivity goes away almost overnight. And I also have a formula that kids love. It's a citrus flavor because some kids don't love the mint flavor. They say it's a little too strong. The citrus flavor is the remineralizing tooth powder that's going to prevent and heal cavities but it also tastes like oranges, so kids love it. I also have a mouth rinse that you're going to absolutely love. It takes care of bad breath, which is often the reason people use mouth rinse, but it's also going to protect your gums, heal your gums, it's going to remineralize your teeth, it's going to do everything that you want all in one bottle. So you don't need fluoride, that's the secret. There's no reason to have it anymore in your life, in your mouth, in your body. Replace it with hydroxyapatite and you get everything you need and more.